The big vision is that humanity is evolving. That's a scientific fact. And we've discovered a way to rapidly increase the rate of evolution. There's a new human on their horizon. And when enough of us access this most evolved part of our brain, the prefrontal cortex, as soon as enough of us have that access, there's gonna be a tipping point. And when that tipping point happens, the rest of humanity will start to rapidly evolve. Just like the Industrial Revolution or the Renaissance, it only took a small amount of people to create that massive level of change. We know that there's more to life. Our brain tells us so. There's a part of our brain that's really animalistic and primal, and there's a part of our brain that has visions and it has purpose and it has passion. But as Plotinus said, we are somewhere between the gods and the beasts. And that's reflected in our physiology. So what's really, really important is that we can access more of the beauty and the truth and the goodness and the consciousness by accessing higher states of our brain, activating our brain even more so that people can be free from the fight or flight response, which is caused by the stress brain. They can live purposefully, live passionately. And if there's anything that we need in our world right now, especially right now, is people living with purpose and passion. Freedom can be expressed in many ways and freedom can be different to many people. When we think about our lives, how free we truly are every day. I realized that the rest of my life, the only thing I could do would be to follow my deep heart vision. And I realized that if nothing matters, then I can create the world in whatever fashion I so desire. And my desire is to walk a beauty path back to Eden, to bring our consciousness of nature up again so that we can relate to nature in a natural native way. This is our birthright. This is our family. Nature is our family. And it is hopefully our dream to be able to return to an interactive consciousness again. When you get in the modern world, you are going to have this fight between modernization and antiquity. We live better with nature, and we feed better with nature, we cure better with nature, to feed our children and to put food in our table. Let's depend on nature. We are really going to focus on how companies can not just benefit themselves, but benefit the community and the whole world. I'm hoping for people just to become more aware of the things that are really important for not just us right now, but our future generations. It's about taking the time to do something right. And when you see the work that these guys put into creating, you realize that there's something really special about that. And what I think the film does a great job of doing is reminding us why we need to support artists like that. Some things are worth the time that goes into them. And when you see these artists at work, you realize why it matters. We don't know where informations are coming from. We are all connected to the universe. And we can say that we can tap into the universe if we are open ourselves up. If we connect to Earth, Sun, and beyond the Sun long enough, we're slowly recognizing we're not just our body. Information just don't come from my brain. It's beyond. And that's where infinite knowledge comes from. I feel like my goal as a filmmaker and as a storyteller is to make the world a better place for my kid. I feel like that is my number one responsibility. I need to pass off a better earth to my, to my kids. And I think as filmmakers, our passion should be telling stories that in some way kind of add to that. How do we make this world a better place? And I think you do that through honesty. I think you do that through integrity and you do that through empathy. And I think the more we can start understanding how other people live and the choices they make and at some point, you know, hopefully that will lead us to making better choices. I mean, that's, that's what I believe. Hey, I'm Morgan. Check out Visionary Organics. The most important thing you can do to create peace in the world is to be peaceful. Peace can only be created by those who are peaceful, just as love can only be shown by those who have love.
God's flow. If you let go of all the distractions and you're in your creative energy in God's flow, synchronicity is everywhere. I feel that those of us in television are chosen to be servants. We are chosen to help meet the deeper needs of those who watch and listen, day and night. It's the greatest mystery of any millennium, and television needs to do all it can to broadcast that, to show and tell what the good in life is all about. But how do we make goodness attractive? By doing whatever we can to bring courage to those whose lives move near our own. By treating our neighbor at least as well as we treat ourselves. And allowing that to inform everything that we produce. We all have only one life to live on Earth. And through television, we have the choice of encouraging others to demean this life or to cherish it in creative, imaginative ways. I thank you for all the good that you do in this unique enterprise and for wanting our neighborhood to be a part of the celebration tonight.